still freaked out. Oh, we got 50% here. 50%. Uh, all right, the AR data you're encountering is coming through uh, to us as well. It'll leave a recovery signature, but that's okay. Um, oh, so there's a bunch of messages. So I guess we just leave this here and go explore some other stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's go have a look and see where else we can find. Hello, what is this? Oh. It's emails I've been ignoring. Uh, so what was the previous one? Uh, so we got that one. Sign on to the module. We did that one. The company has remotely disabled the station's AI ability to directly affect operations on Tacoma. So Odin's been disabled and he can't talk to me as well. Any attempt to communicate with the AI is strictly prohibited. Is anyone else feeling like Odin has definitely gone a bit doot doot? Doot doot. For security reasons, AR crew record data is deleted automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confer contractor access privileges to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. I'm really, they're really kind of hammering home the whole like super evil corporation stuff, right? Um, like, gee whiz. Uh, right, operations. Let's see if we can get in here. Hello? Uh, so it looks like little cubby holes for everybody. What is this? We are orbital workers. Okay, so th so they had some kind of a union. Um, oh wait, was there something on the back of that? Ah, just a QR code. I wonder if you were to hold your phone up to that, you might be able to see something. Uh, obsolescence day party tomorrow. A friendly reminder. Uh, a yearly obsolescence day party is tomorrow. Refreshments, etc. You know, no one does like hand printed party invites anymore. Like if you wanted to make this really realistic, you would have put it on Facebook and just like create a Facebook event and then have everyone cancel on it. Um, hashtag too real. Your avenue to the stars, the Venturis belt. Imagine a little piece of heaven all to yourself. The next giant leap in Venturis's plan to open up the orbital life to all, the Venturis belt will be a network of over 1000 private orbital bungalows. I live in a bungalow. Um, yeah, okay, so that's the leaflet for what we're building, I guess. Fitness center. So, yeah. We're out here hauling cargo. Oh, hello. Let's see. Please. All right, ladies. Do you have everything you need? Yep, though. Thanks for offering to help. Oh uh, yeah, no problem. I mean, you know how much I love completely and mindless. Uh, pause. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, we connect you with licensed therapists. Um. So it looks like uh, Roberta is having a little bit of online therapy. Uh, make sure you rate your therapist, though. It's like that website just just ask or whatever it is um trying to focus on the bright side with nat at least it pays well the isolation pay i feel like i'm holding her back she's up here on this ship posting because it's all i qualify for and she could be somewhere so much better wow okay uh so message with clive clive's the uh, operations guy uh, yearly inventory, quality assurance, and count day. Already on it. Trying to get all done before the obso day party tomorrow so I can party with a clear conscience. Party with a clear conscience! Um. Okay. Do you mind if Evie would... Do you think Evie would mind if? So I'm guessing she's asking if, if he thinks Evie would mind if they work together. Uh, or something. That one's failed. Yearly hand in, in uh, inventory. That looks fairly standard to me. Whoops, wrong button. Right, carry on. Kid, don't start. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay, so if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then. And we'll get renewed again next year. Oh, next year. Nah, I'm gonna quit. Stop. 
What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Well, do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, hey, Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well, I'd still be pulling a paycheck, for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but it never went anywhere. Hey, oh, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can mm. you get back to cargo? On my way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Nat! Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh my god. <laughs> Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit, but don't make me your goal. Fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clyde. Then again, we're all fools. Nat, I'll think about it. And for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain. Hmm. So I'm just trying to make sure that you guys get all the audio for this because it's a little bit sensitive on the, like, um, you know, where I'm turning as to, like, what the, um, what the audio, how the audio comes in. Um, but yeah, so I guess we know now why uh, Evie's trying so hard to get access. It's so that uh, Nat, yeah, Nat, the network specialist, can get access to it. Well, I think that's fair, right? Like, you're meant to be a network specialist, but there's a whole, like, network, no, a whole part of the computer you can't uh, get into. I like that. Standard party supplies. Not fancy party supplies, just standard party supplies. Uh, Right, it doesn't look like there's much we can do here, but if we... Oh, hello. Lost. Wedding ring. Gold band engraved with RW and NK inside. Uh, I think I lost it somewhere in engineering. Please let me know if you find it. Bert. Oh, okay, so they're actually married. So if that's... What? R... RW and NK. So yeah, that is those two. So Roberta and Nat are actually married, except they lost the ring, which is fair... I've, I've done that. Uh, right, let's uh, rewind to start. Go see what green guy is up to over here. There's something I can access immediately for green green guy. Oh, doing a bit of yoga. A bit of yoga? I, I've, I've tried yoga. It's, it's very hard. <laughs> right, pause. Let me look at what you're staring at. Are you, are you staring at yoga instructions? So you're having an... Ooh. An off-station call with that person. Right, let's fiddle with the rest of your uh, emails before. Uh, hey, Mark, this is the article I was looking at. Oh, we're talking about finances. Uh, real currency. My brain is already like, no, I'm so bad with. Um, I'm not bad with finances, but I'm bad with reading about it. <laughs> real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. That is a myth. Okay. Fine. Failed. Uh, we'll read the audio in a second. Okay, there's nothing there. So what is this? Let's listen in on your private phone call, shall we? Oops. How can I? Can I? Phyllis. I know that you... Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but... Listen. You have your heart set on Amazon, on don't you? Hold on a minute. Can I listen to... to Nicholas's side of things? Or is it just... I can just hear Andrew's side of things. Nicholas. I know that you... Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but... Listen. You have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Okay, and there's no way we're gonna have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. 
So, we're just gonna have to pay some of that tuition out of pocket. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. What? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Well, radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well... Yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... We're not all going to get cancer or bone disease or... Okay? I suppose I am very uh, Listen, with would your it make you feel better to hear it straight departure. from the station doctor? Wait. Okay, you hold mean on. Me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um... Sorry. What is it? I have my son, Nicholas, on AR, and he wanted to ask you... No, it's his what? son. No, you said you wanted... Well, I didn't... Nicholas. Nicholas? Hello? Teens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um, it just incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. See, that's what I told him. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Hey, Odin, where were we? Nothing to see here. Then he just wanders off into the distance. It must be tough doing uh, long distance family relationships. Like, when I grew up, my dad um, was an expatriate a lot, so he lived um, abroad a fair amount. And yeah, you do sometimes act out like a grubby little. Uh, teenager who's being a bit rebellious because you know your dad's off in another country um i get that i can imagine it's even tougher when you know the other country is like ooh, i say um is space uh there's nothing too much in here uh i'll exercise when i'm dead brilliant Wonderful, Natalie. Oh, there's a passcode on Clyde's door. Not very trustworthy, is he? Well, I mean, to be understood, because I am literally just, like, uh, wandering around, rifling through your things. So, it says that the last activity on Andrew's thing um, was three days ago. So, it's only actually quite recent that they all bogged off. Um, so, I don't know if you noticed, but, yeah, so this was captured four days ago. Um... So yeah, I'm not going to go into the showers just yet. Um, let's rewind and see what Sarah was up to in all this time. Where did Sarah come from? Sarah came from this way, I think? Yeah, from the locker room. Okay. Right. Through this, I learned that people do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality. Accurate in every detail. That was terrifying. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Yep. Open the door, Kim. Your, your stories aren't usually such. We're not all going to get cancer. Or Is everything or okay? I suppose I am preoccupied Listen, with your potential departure. Station, Wait. Okay. You mean on. me? <coughs> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um, sorry. W what is it? I have my son, Nicholas, on AR, and he wanted to ask you... What? No, you said you wanted... Well, I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Now, Nicholas... Right, pause. And, uh, thank you to Purple Crown for subscribing with Twitch Prime. 
enjoying me snooping around other people's private lives in space. Ooh, so it looks like we've got a uh, future detective novel. Very cute. Anything else? Uh, here's his contact info if you want it. Bye! Ah, so this is Chloe Dog, who uh, Sarah was talking to in that previous uh, email. Hassan M. Low Earth Orbit. Okay. You set me up, or... Odin, what is my damn locker code? 0315. Okay, keep an eye on that. Although she... Did she... Did we need to open that? We'll, we'll check that one in a second. Um... Ah, okay, so this is the first part of the conversation. So, uh, well, it's lots of people. Hackers, hippies, AI rights folks. Yeah, I mean, Tangier is cool. Okay, I got a friend there, and you'd like him. He, and he has a zero-G bonsai garden. Nice. Nice. Uh, what's his name? Cluey Dog. Okay, his new real name is Hassan. Um, okay. So, I'm getting set up with uh, Hassan here. Uh, what was that code again? It was... 0315. Okay, remember that. Remember that. Also, is anyone else worried about how Sarah seems to be the only one who's really having these kind of deep conversations with Odin? Like, something's happening there. Hello? Teens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um, it just incidentally... Is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here, health-wise? Radiation, bone density? Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity. Just want to catch like the last bit of Sarah's conversation. Like basically 100%. See? That's what I told him. I guess I could just... Okay. Yep. Where were we? Okay, that literally was the end of that. So let's go back to the locker room and see if there was a code uh, needed for um, Sarah's locker. Uh, so it was zero, three, three, one, five. I just wanna rum it. Oh, hello! Wow. Goals. Fair play. Fair play, mate. So yeah, advanced. I like these little details. So that she she had the advanced program. What else have you got in here? Fit magazine. I want to be fit. What the fittest women in the world eat? A lot of protein power. Uh, Google's AI personal trainer, pass or fail. Now that's an interesting uh, take on whether or not that's going to be the next thing. We've already got like, you know, fitness programs linking up to your Apple Watch and stuff like that and Fitbits. So maybe, maybe that is like the, the next thing. Uh, what else you got? Oh, stuff. Okay, so Sarah, Sarah's goal in life, get ripped. Um... And Natalie, nothing. <laughs> I'll do it when I'm dead. Absolutely dead. Okay, so there's one more conversation. I'm missing out on this bit. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's um, Evie and Clive talking to each other uh, when everyone else is, is wandered off. Uh, grab magazine. Oh, look, it's that guy again. The owner of Venturi that we just stuck a load of... Um, Darts into his face. Blech. Pow. Pow and the dirt is gone. Is there anything here that has Clive's uh, locker code? Hey, look. Singapore, 2087. So that's actually like the old Chinese um, uh, coins because they all had holes in them so that you could just put a string through it and um, hold them up. That's so cool. Many years in the future and we still... I mean... That's the also it was many years in the future and are we still legit gonna have coin currency? Because like I mean I don't even have coins now. Um my mum keeps nagging me that I should, but I don't. I literally I have no cash on me when I'm out, which is quite naughty. Um right, so you were there. Where was Clive when all this began? Was he doing his laundry? No, he wasn't doing his laundry. He wasn't in the locker room. Uh, did he come from the personal quarters? Maybe. Yes, here he is. Hello, Clive. Jim. Oh, let me read your personal emails. Thank you. 
So he's on a conversation with Jemaine, who was warning him about getting with um, with uh, blah 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 Evie. Remember your rights. So there's a few bits and pieces um, talking about unions. Scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industrial orbital facilities would be operated by crew human crew members. Historic human oversight accord. Putting a halt to obsolescence of these brave workers. So is that what obsolescence day is? Is basically making human workers obsolete. Hmm. Hmm. A guide for the inspired social climber. Oh boy. Is that from Fallout as well over there? Kind of looks like it is. Same style. Same style. To keep things casual and do yourselves to the higher ups, refer to them by amusing uh, and informal phrases instead of boss. Memorable bon mot. That's uh, good words. Like fearless leader or skipper or head honcho. Yeah, so guys, if you want to uh <laughs> if you want to endear yourself and get, get somewhere in your workplace, go up to your boss next time and call them the fearless leader or skipper or head honcho. And report back to me how that worked out for you. Um <laughs> Yeah. Uh I'm just checking, like, we, we can't listen in on that, that call. I think it's just, like, a who who is making the call. Are you there? Ah, uh, hello. Oh, well, that's what I was expecting. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and you know, it can be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to terra firma safely? No. You're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought that... Oh, yes, come on in, love. So are you rounding Sol, then? Tremendous. Eight months. <coughs> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth's face, won't you? Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorting with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if <laughs> not discreet. Are you going to miss me? You said it, Mon Capitan. If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? Yeah, come on, traitor. <laughs> so do you suppose there's good news? That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh, my God. Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole right, part of the network... let's forward this bit. I'd what exactly we do... ...do her job. Clive. A little bit of, uh... Tension there between now, Clive and Evie. How about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? I think I that conversation can. just ended right there. Yeah, it did. Mm, I can't believe he actually said it as well. I can't believe he said Mon Capitan. Oh, Clive. Clive! So is this both Clive's, uh. Clive's room? Wait, no, where the hell am I? Oh, a minute. Head back. I just want to go back to the other room. Oh, so that was his office. Okay, so we just came from his office. Um, oh, so I'm guessing that this is what they're trying to, to build. Their lunar resort. Oh, lines go down, lines go up. What is this? Earth, Tacoma, Moon. Ascent of humanity. I mean, it looks a bit phallic. Um, is all I'm gonna say. Can I water the? No, I wanted to water the plant there. Um, bit phallic. Bless. Are these concert photos? Or are they actually? Um, oh, Hilton. <laughs> yeah, is Hilton gonna start making universities now? Anything is possible. Anything interesting there? You got an uh, apple. Surely the apple should be uh, going a bit mouldy and grey. 
Multivitamins, important. Uh, right, let's have a snoop on your workstation. Note to self, call mother. Evie's birthday coming up. Gym locker, 1407. Right, remember that. 1407. You got that chat? 1407. Uh, uh, send a request to Evie for special cat food. Don't slack off in gym. Search AR tutorial for cake decoration. Uh, hold on. There you go. Uh, 1407. Uh, we have received your inquiries about your application for a, pers a position in Venturus Belt Timeshare Sales Coordinator. As noted in our prior message, your materials are under review. Okay, so it looks like they tried to move. Oh, and that's your lovely little uh, ID there. Right, so 1407. Okay, let's check your personal quarters. Let's have a look. Let's have a snoop around in here. What are you doing in your bedroom all on your own? Oh, is that the moon? Oh, it's the moon. Moon. Not a lot of alcohol here, son. No, Jan, look, I just... Oh, God. What you got there? So it's another call between him and Jermaine. Uh, eight months ago, so this is a very old one. It's true why uh, I'll be here out of touch in the next uh, eight months or so. So this is his friend. Okay. Okay, so he was touring Jupiter. Uh, so this is between Evie. Sounds nice, but wouldn't that be a lot of work? Not least, my dear. All, pr all good, <laughs> all good Brightons are trained in presenting proper high tea. <laughs> fair, that's fair. With the with the little sandwiches, with the uh, with the crusts cut off. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, all right. I mean, you you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people. Oh shit. Oh bollocks. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm spilling scotch all over out of space. <laughs> he sounds rather pissed. When I say pissed, I mean drunk, not pissed as in angry. Tip top, what ho? Of course he's listening to ye olde English music. Hmm. So literally just. Yeah, I think he's nerfed his, uh, his phone call there. Um, right. Oh, there's, there is a little uh, cat, cat dish in here. So was the cat originally his and then it moved in with uh, Evie? Or it, it was just following Evie around? Uh, beef chili, mild. Hmm. Hey, it's uh, meat free as well. Although it did say in vitro ground beef. So is that like um, what you call it? Like beyond, beyond? No, it's in vitro. It's probably lab grown then. Softlets. Anything in your? See, people seem to store a lot of things in their bins. Um, okay, so he did apply for carnival. Uh, okay, so it sounds like he failed a contract with carnival and can't work with them anymore. And then, oh, he wanted to join Hilton as well. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so it Hilton family, so it is like Hilton uh, the Hotel Hiltons have set up their own, um, whatchamacallit, words, Kim, education system. There we go. Um, well, ye old Trafalgar Square, I salute you as a fellow British. Um, interesting. Got good wipes in here, good. Just, I, I basically, I'm, I'm spending my time here just being a toilet inspector, just wandering around inspecting all the toilets. Um, yes, good, clean. Or everything functioning here, all good. Oh, what's in here? Hello. Grab card. Uh, so the London New Arts Foundation. Bernadette Sadiq. Clive, your great-grandmother would never have forgiven me if she knew I was sending this to you like a fool. I expect it returned 
without a scratch. Write me soon. Mother misses you. Oh, bless. So I'm guessing that's like, um, customs, lunar transfer station. I'm guessing that's like some of the artwork you can see in this room. Like the, are all, are all the old things here? Are these all the art that came in that? Perhaps? Maybe. Let's go sneak in his locker. Uh, so what was this code again? People remind me. Some, someone in chat remind me what his code was. I think it was 141407. Thank you, uh, everybody. 1407. Unlocked. I kind of half expect like a body to fall out or something like this. Um, so last activity nine days ago. So his plans to uh, get hench in the gym didn't really uh, work out. Oh look, he was a uh, a footballer, an American footballer. Um, there. College peak stats. Oh, there's a little bit of uh, regret here, isn't there? He seems clearly seems to be stuck in his like glory days. Do you think he's one of those that uh, peaked, like literally peaked at college, and um, he's trying to he's forever trying to get back there? Bunk drawer. Okay, 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 okay. No, I don't want the gum. Put the put the gum back. Thank you. I like how there's products here from all around the world. Um, that's cool. Right. So we've got a bunk key. It does seem like there is a little bit of um, people sort of regretting or like coming here because there's on this mission because there's nothing else for them or they, they can't get missions doing anything else. Um, can I use it? Ah, okay, here, here we go. Insert key. Donk. Ooh, what have we got here? Uh, got a letter to Sadiq from Bernadette which I guess is his mum oh wait no sorry it's from it's from Clive to his mother dear mother I write to congratulate you on your recent appointment to the advisory council of the Tate uh, 20th century so that's the Tate art gallery your prestigious career in the arts has been a constant inspiration to me to that end I have continued exploring advancement both with Venturis and without uh, when I left Hilton after graduating Hilton U, I was so excited for the possibilities at Carnival. But as you told me then, foregoing company loyalty is for fickle opportunity is a fraught path. I have been working to claw my way back up ever since. Trust at least that I am trying my best very uh, uh, my very best every day. My best every day. I promise to tell you more about Evelyn Victoria. Uh, Evelyn Victoria. She is the administrator of this station, and her wit and candor keep me constantly on my toes. And for what it's worth, I am deeply in love. I dare say she might well meet your uh, your approval. Perhaps on our next shore leave, a visit to the family estate is in order. With all my love, Clive. Order. Okay. Uh, put put the lid down. Put put the lid down. Grab bracelet. Hmm. Put put back. What's the card? Uh, darling, I found these on shore leave in a quaint Brighton market store. Uh, they, br <laughs> they brought to mind the colour of your chestnut. Uh, stupid Clive! Stupid Clive! Um, oh, bless. So he must have bought these for Evie. But hasn't given them to her because he thinks his love notes are dumb. Bless him. I'm really for. I'm. I'm. I'm quite. I've got a soft spot for Clive. Poor old drunky British Clive. Peaked at university, as you can see here. Still wants to get back there, but arty mother, successful arty mother, in love with the um, station expert. Messed up with his job. Oh, bless, bless him. Right. I think that's it for this section. I'm pretty sure that's it for this section. Uh, I think the only thing was Evie walking that way, but I, I doubt... Okay, let's let's have a quick check, because Evie walked this way right at the beginning. So, yeah. All right, lady. Have everything you need? Yep, so. Right, do you mumble anything to yourself while you walk this way? No. No. 
You're literally just being a normal human being, walking from one section to another. I do like the way Hi. these all May I come in? overlap and um, yeah, intermingle with each other. Right, let's head back Boop. Uh, and see how our data update is going. 100% please detach device. Okay, inbound message. First part, the AA net is fully transferred. Our techs here are looking at remotely. It's intact. So I'm guessing that's like all the AR, da AR data that we've um, collected from uh, the PI administration area and from um, operations area. Hmm. All right, there we go. I'm guessing I can't jump my way up there. Uh, so it will be back to the hoop after checking my emails. Uh, whoops, accidentally didn't read it. It's like me in real life, I accidentally delete my emails. Uh, please proceed to the biomedical module to continue the AI data transfer process as per your mission, time is of the essence with respect to this mission. All right, jeez, excuse me for snooping into everybody's personal and private lives. 